And so, so you truly believe Jack's a finder with no evidence, no evidence. I mean, you have no evidence. I mean, you have no evidence. You only seen the treasure chest, same as I was in the office. I have no evidence. You have no evidence. So you're saying, like, you've been in the office. I've been in the office. You have no evidence of the nine clues. I have no evidence of the nine clues. I've been at the office. You've been at the office. So what makes you believe that he's the finder? The guy who wrote the Medium article is the guy. Well, no, he didn't write the Medium article. So I got proof on that. Uh, okay, well, I, I am not here to speak to that. I have no idea about what your proof is, and that's not something I have any. That was Forrest, that was Forrest and Shiloh that wrote the Medium for Jack Stoof. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's, I mean, nice that, uh, that, that's what you think. I so think that's what that. he told you. Is that what Jack told you that he, he's the one that wrote the medium article? Yes. Uh, I also okay. believe that I have no reason not to believe that. Okay. So if I show the facts here in the next week, uh, what, what would, what would you, what would your opinion be then? If I show you the facts that he's lied to you. Uh, if you were able to show me facts that somehow prove correct, that, correct. that that was written by Forrest posthumously with Shiloh, then I would change my opinion. But I have not seen anything to this point that would make me think that whatsoever. I have an email dated October 25th, 2019 to Shiloh. That is Forrest Fenn's grandson. That was not meant for me to view. I can only... The only thing I can come up with is that my last name is SH, Shiloh is SH, and maybe that's where the the error occurred. I don't know. It happened a couple other times too. In this particular email, it suggests that part of that part, not all, okay, because you're asking me if Jack Stoof wrote that. Maybe he did, but Forrest Fenn was aware of part of the Medium article. Does that satisfy your curiosity? Is that good enough? But you're asking me, am I saying that Jack Stoof didn't write the article? I don't know. Maybe he did and he sent it to Forrest. Maybe he wrote not even a word of it. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't even think this guy exists, quite honestly. I really don't. 